What's up guys, it's Roanoke Gaming here, and today I'm going to be doing the gaming news of the week type of deal again and see if uh, maybe we can get some more information. So I'm looking through, specifically I think what we're going to talk about today is the possible redemption of 343 Industries. Hopefully after the fiasco that is Halo 5 Guardians, which the player base dropped off insanely fast, and then just everything that went with it, with the Rex system that everyone hated, and they did a Twitter poll the other day that was basically saying, is it, or I think it was actually Halo Follower who did the Twitter poll, and they were talking about, is it intrusive, the rec system, is it not intrusive? And I believe what his findings were on that was, it was definitely intrusive, and not many people liked it. But what I'm specifically gonna talk about, at least for now, is the fact that 343 might actually be listening, which is a surprise, I think, to everyone. So what they've done, or at least what they've put out, is an article by Sketch as of the 31st of January, and they talk about how they're going to focus on updating the MCC. A couple years ago when they released MCC, it was a broken pile of garbage. I believe the Master, or not Master Chief, the Halo 2 anniversary was, it was great. It looked beautiful, it was fun, but we were promised the fact that it would release exactly the way the games had released previously, that there weren't, they weren't going to be broken, we'd be able to play online, there were not going to be any issues. And to their credit, campaign worked perfectly. I love the campaign. I'm, I actually just got done playing the campaign to make this video. So th that was great, but I think what a lot of people wanted was to actually be able to play online. And so what was kind of salt in the wound sort of scenario is when everybody realized that MCC was broken and there was going to be really no online play and you could search for 12 hours straight, you, there's videos all over the place, and you couldn't find anything, it just got a little ridiculous. And so there was a public outcry and it was like, hey, 343, can you fix MCC? People actually paid money for this game, you need to fix it. And they kind of just turned around and said, well, to fix it, it would require us to basically completely dismantle the game and go back to the coding and just do everything all over so we're just not going to do it. And to me, that was a huge strike against 343. I hated 343 because they took one of my favorite games and they just kind of half-assed it. And they didn't really try and I understand when you, when you have a game that large, when you have I think there's four or five games in there now because of ODST, you're going to run into some issues of how is this going to work and how are we going to actually be able to get these games to play with other games. But to just blatantly tell people that you know, you're not going to fix it and it's too hard, when you're a gaming developing or game developing company, it just really kind of irks people. And then we had the wretched abomination that was Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 5 Guardians to me just about killed the Halo franchise but permanently for me to play. You know, I liked Halo 4 in the sense of. You know, I might get flack for this, but I personally like Spartan Ops. I thought the campaign itself was a little kind of just, lack of a better term, trite. I was like, this is kind of stupid. I really don't want to watch or play this. I really don't care about this. But when Halo 5 came out and they just crammed so many characters in there, for instance, uh, Jewel Imdama, right? I, like I said, I like Spartan Ops. So when they killed Jewel Dama in like the first 20 minutes of the mission, I was like, so are you just telling me that there was no point to Spartan Ops? Is that just the end? And they just killed him so unceremoniously. It wasn't even anything. It was just this crappy, poorly choreographed fight. That just, it, it, it almost was as bad as uh, the fight between Chief and Locke. It was just absolutely ridiculous. But getting back on subject, that's one of the things I think kind of started killing 343 for me was I just I didn't trust them as a game developer. I didn't trust them with Halo. But it seems that they finally got the message that as a consumer, if you continue to put out bad, broken games, people are just going to be like, nope, I'm out. Personally, if Brian had stayed in 343 and if they hadn't fired the... Our, I'm not even sure what happened to the art design team. They might have just quit or been fired. I'm not 100% certain. But had they not gotten rid of those two major issues, I wouldn't have even bothered with Halo 6. I would have just been like, 
you know, it's gonna, probably going to be as bad as Halo 5. I didn't have any fun with Halo 5, and I'm just out. But it seems, like I said, 343 might actually redeem itself, which would be fantastic. Currently, they have a small team that is working on developing or redeveloping the MCC collection and fixing everything that was broken. So that is a major plus in the fact that they're listening to us, they're going to fix it, they're going to actually, you know, try. And I think also, once they do fix it, and <laughs> one of the funny things I saw is like they were like, well, this is going to be a sizable update. I don't care if it's going to be a sizable update. This is going to be great. I'm going to actually be able to play Halo again with people, as opposed to Halo 5, which totally blows. So, I'm just glad that 343 is going to fix the Master Chief Collection, and that they're actually and diligently going after it. One of the other things, it looks like with Halo 6, it's going in the right direction now. Brian's gone, the art team's gone. I believe the guy who worked on Arkham Knight is now essentially in charge of the art style and hopefully they can get a writer that's worth a damn who will actually be able to, I don't know, make a fun game. And, you know, that would be great. So, uh, let me ask you guys, what do you think? Do you think Halo 6 is heading in the right direction and are you ready to get absolutely wrecked by me on the rest of the Halos when the Master Chief Collection comes back out? Comes back out. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Alright guys, take it easy.